We talk about Truck Week again, our morning in America uh, mission to honor truck drivers and say thank you, thank you, thank you. We are continuing. Uh, of course, they're vital to the U.S. supply chain. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And our special coverage, our week-long series wraps up today with a look at the oasis in the heart of the country for truckers, travelers alike. We are talking about the world's largest truck stop in Walcott, Iowa, which opened its doors back in 1964. So you know people have loved it for a long time. The Iowa 80 stop welcomes more than 5,000 people every single day, offers just about anything you could need. Kelsey is live at the famed stop. And Kelsey, is it everything you thought it would be and so much more? <laughs> Mark and Adrian, I'll really tell you, I mean, they have everything you can think of here. This is a staple in the Midwest. They've never closed their doors since 1964. We're here at the Iowa 80 kitchen. I mean, this is where all the truckers come to get their food. We've heard them raving about the food this morning. And it really comes down to, I mean, even 4 o'clock this morning, some of these truckers, they've been eating pizza. Uh, but joining me now is the manager of this kitchen here, Rick Denny. And it's really interesting because they've got this counter space and... Speaking to them, it really all comes down to, I mean, it is grueling being a trucker. You're out there on the road for hours, hours, and hours. And it comes down to how important socializing is. I think so, yeah. Uh, we've always had this counter here. And, you know, some truck, truck drivers, after they've been out there all day, you know, they just want to come in and relax and, and talk with another driver, maybe about what's happened during the day or uh, just, you know, their personal life, uh, just anything just to, you know, kind of um, you know, make that human connection, you know? And that's what I really love this morning, because even since we've been here, they've been, like, there's some truckers that are, are around us right now. They've been talking to us this morning. I just love it. It's so fun. Absolutely. Asking about my day. What are we doing here? It's fantastic. I agree. Yeah, they, uh, they go out of their way to, uh, to get to know our staff also. And, you know, it really becomes like a family atmosphere here. And so what is it that the truckers really come to eat here? Well, when uh, uh, after they've been on the road all day, uh, a lot of times they want a big meal in that. And in the morning, I suggest the Hungry Man Breakfast. Uh, so it's called the Hungry Man Breakfast? The Hungry Man Breakfast, yeah. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yeah. <laughs> this looks fantastic. Can you can kind of describe what we got here? Uh, so it comes with two eggs, hash okay. browns, uh, sugar-cured ham, okay. sausage patties, bacon, and two sweet cream pancakes. And you know what I love the most? As many of the truckers that I've spoken to this morning, they're like, oh my goodness, the coffee's amazing, the food's amazing, and that's what they come for. Not only that, just the people. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, we pride ourselves on the, the food here, obviously. We've been here for, uh, you know, uh, 50 plus years. Oh, sorry. <laughs> It really is that good. I can't wait to dig in more. But also, I know another important holiday is coming up. That is Thanksgiving. Yes. I know you've got lines out the door. Truckers are bringing their families. We do. Yeah, Thanksgiving is a huge, huge day for us. Um, a lot of the truckers that are on the road that can't get home to, uh, to make it to their families, they can come in here. We do all of the Thanksgiving fixings here. Uh, stuffing, green bean casserole, ham, turkey, uh, you know, mashed potatoes and gravy. And we do it really, really well for them. Um, it's nice if they can come in instead of the counter sometimes. We've had it to where um, guys will come in and they don't even know each other and we'll just set them at a table together. Uh, and then they can just chat during Thanksgiving just because it's so busy and we're trying to get through the tables. That it's just a, it's a neat experience. I think that's my favorite thing is just how friendly everyone has been. Uh, but you guys have five to 6,000 people coming through these doors every single day. I mean, how do you serve that many people? Uh, it, it's, uh, it's tough. <laughs> yeah, we, we take several orders a week in that, but, uh, you know, we keep up with it. We go through, you know, 900,000 eggs a year. You know, we go through, Holy cow. we go through like uh, 70,000 pounds of ground beef, you know, pork chops. Uh, we're in the, the 200, 300,000 pork chops. Uh, it's just a lot of food that we have to produce for the customers. That is so incredible. Rick, thank you so much for your time. All right, coming up, you guys, I'm going to eat this, but coming up, I'm going to take you inside the Superstore. I mean, they have everything you can think of, that and more. Adrian Amarki, 900,000 eggs. <laughs> Kelsey, I'm so yes. jealous. Those hash browns, the mac and cheese. I had a protein bar this morning, and Kelsey. that's paling in comparison. I think the, the cool thing is, is that these I'm truck drivers... I'm always eating in front of both of you. <laughs> yeah, just keep yes. eating, because I think the most important <laughs> part of this story is that these truck drivers often are isolated inside the cab of these trucks. When they stop at a place like this, mm -hmm. they can build friendships. They can connect with people. It's, they need that socialization on the road, right? People are really so friendly here. I, I, honestly, that is exactly what they need. Many of them, they're just 
ask me how my day is. And I just love that. I'm like, it's six in the morning. I don't She's even know like, yet. Forget the report. Let's <laughs> just talk and eat. They need, All right. they need community. Can yes. you imagine how lonely it is? <laughs> my in the, yeah. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.